So I would have felt them animals would have had a lot of good meat to eat. Hot water. So massage my ankle. Oh God, it hurts. So they sell shit on KFC. You sell shit on KFC. Hey! It's good. It's good. You can tell it. You forgot about the world. The freedom and justice. What is it? What is it, Frank? Freedom and justice. What? what what's this? Place? Independence Square. Right? Yeah, Independence Square. Independence Square. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Anne and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, subscribe and click the notifications button so that every time I post a video, you'll be the first to know. You've either been led here from my Instagram or my TikTok where I post honest nursing reels and probably even my new blog that just came out. I'm so happy to start this YouTube channel that I've been taking years to start. I've always wanted to start a YouTube, but I've been scared. I didn't know what to post, what I'm going to say. I didn't know how to look in the camera. But now, <laughs> first things first, I'm a BSN RN and I've been a nurse for over seven years. But this channel is not only dedicated to nursing. I repeat, it's not only dedicated to nursing. Yes, I will be sharing nursing content where I will be going deeper into nursing topics. But this channel is a lifestyle channel. So I will be showing my life as a content creator, as a nurse, what I do day to day, my lifestyle, my fitness, faith, everything. So instead of my few seconds TikToks and Instagram reels, my YouTube channel will definitely be more personable. I'm sure a lot of you have seen my trailer to my YouTube channel and some of you know that I recently went to Ghana after not being in Ghana for 22 whole years. I was so excited to go, I was so excited to see family and just to see what the motherland looks like now because it's definitely way different from how I left it. I didn't grow up in Ghana, I grew up in the States, I was born here but I did visit Ghana a few times when I was young. But to me, that doesn't really count because I'm an adult now. At that time, I didn't really understand anything. But I do remember some snippets of visuals, you know, where my aunt's house was, how the neighborhood looked. And this time when I went, it was totally different. Ghana is way more modernized. It's very expensive. And there's a lot to do. There's a lot of food to eat. So this intro video will be going straight into my Ghana vlog. And please forgive me, big disclaimer. In Ghana, this was one of my first few times that I was vlogging. So, there's a bit of shakiness, crazy lighting and stuff like that. My favorite part about my trip to Ghana was the fact that I had the opportunity to educate nurses in a hospital. So many stigmas about healthcare in Africa in general. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to ask questions and to see things for myself. And I'm hoping that in the future that I'll be able to give back more any way I can. So enough with the small talk. Thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. Please enjoy the vlog and please comment if there's anything specific that you want me to post, whether it's nursing, lifestyle, whatever it is. Comment below and I will figure out a way to make a video about it. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe and click the notifications button so that every time I post a video, you will be notified first. Enjoy. My first day officially <laughs> going out I'm going to get my nails done I'm going to this shop called polished so much good reviews about the place from friends and even on social media so I'll definitely get some footage in there but yeah um, got home last night kind of tired not kind of really tired 
Okay. Oh, this is nice. Went to the store. Uh, this your store? Here is the door. I didn't. Oh. Go and finish your uh, breakfast before. Breakfast before. Are you not trying? Ooh. So this is considered a convenience store. It's only uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a yeah, yeah. Okay, only drink store. So Coco, people mm -hmm. usually eat it with peanuts and kose. Kose. What is kose made of? Beans, right? Beans. Only beans. So it's healthy, very healthy food. Mm -hmm. Very healthy breakfast. You got it from the. This one is millet. Millet. Mm -hmm. Millet is a grain, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the Uber and I'm going to polish right now. My nails popped off on the plane, so definitely gotta get my nails done. I'm just so happy to be in Ghana after 22 years. Oh Lord. I feel like I'm at home, you know? It's just so nice to be around people who speak the language, they look like you, listen to the same music, you understand the music, like, you know? So it's not, like, so foreign. Even though I grew up in the U.S. and obviously I'm used to the U.S. way of doing things, it feels good to be in a place where I'm familiar with the culture, you know. I know obviously there's so much I need to learn about my own culture because things are different back home from the way they do things in the U.S., even the Ghanaians, but at least still, I know a little something, something. getting my nails done and polished I love my nails she did not play when it came to my cuticles like she went in but I really love it I don't know if you can see it but we just came out to this spot in La Boni I didn't even get the chance to put on makeup because my friend was rushing me so but yeah, I'm going to see around everywhere the whole night. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. Just trying to figure out parking situation then. But yeah, we're just going place hopping just to look at different places the whole night. So probably won't get home till like five, six in the morning. But. It's all good. It's all good. It's 3 a.m. No, about 4 a.m. And we out here still roaming the town. <laughs> out here still chilling. Sorry for the interruptions. But we're having fun. Roaming the town, meeting people. You know, anyway. but yeah, yeah. So a lot of vulgar language around here. You, you're going to charge him uh, yes. Excuse. Come here. All the vulgar language. Ah. 
<laughs> Say hey, girl. Hey. Yeah, the, the, mm -hmm. Baby, did you, did you lock the car? Yeah. This is Joe the Great. Yeah, that's me. And <laughs> Nice to see the life in Ghana at night. How the locals act. Not act, but like, you know, just how the vibe is with the locals and it's, stuff. It's so sweet. So I should chat the people then. It's so funny. Yeah, it's so But Here, Joe, your key. So I came to visit my friend very much. We went to college together and he has a business here in East Legon. It's called Scuttle. It's similar to the Amazon lockers we have in the US. I don't know what they have in other parts of the world, but yeah. So I'm just waiting for him to come down. So this is the building. I'm gonna go inside for you to see. But this is Scuttle. So cool. So it's basically a mailing system they've made in Ghana. Because um, a lot of people don't have the conventional mailbox, I guess. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah you can receive packages and stuff like that so yeah similar to the amazon locker system and they have bigger um lockers as well so you can get it for your business residential areas whichever so this is a sample of one so it's cool that old building You have to change your tires. Um. Say hi, guys. <laughs> hi. Hi. These two little pretty girls that my mom and my aunt have adopted. So they go to school, but they help out my aunt in the house. So this is, like I said, my house that we all basically lived as kids when we were growing up. I wasn't here for that long, just a few years. But, Yeah, so I wasn't here for that long. I was only here for a few years when I was really little. But basically, all of the people on my mother's side, well, majority of them that tr were able to travel, move to the States, every time they had kids, they sent their kids here to my aunt's house. Um, she was the one who took care of everybody for however long they stayed. So some of my cousins, nieces, and nephews, and my siblings stayed for years. Some of them stayed for only a few years. I was here for like three years. Um, so yeah, it's really nice to come and see. It's been, since it's been over 22 years, I don't remember much, but I do remember the layout of the house. And the house actually looks smaller <laughs> than it was. Back then it felt bigger. Um, but yeah, I guess because I was a kid, 
but yeah it's really nice to come back and see you know the neighborhood years ago when i came in year 2000 i remember the street that my this house is on it was like literally only three houses and all you see was sand now it's there's so many houses so much development here it's like packed uh, so much different businesses and stuff so they have really developed the area which is nice yeah so I am having a great time seeing everybody and seeing everything the African Sun is hitting me nice the weather is really nice yeah, I know I'm wearing long sleeves, but when I lived in Texas for three years, I kind of got used to heat. And it's so crazy, before I moved to Texas, I could not stand heat at all. Like, I have to have my AC, like, brick. But then now, it's different. So, I'm really, like, vibing with this weather right now. But yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving everything. The African lifestyle. I know it's different. Um, it's different when you visit and you're here for vacation versus when you're actually living here. Um, there's obviously a lot of differences, but I believe if you try to compare it to first world countries like the U.S., obviously, you're not going to be satisfied, especially if you lived most of your life abroad what are you guys eating what are you eating i, I can't hear you what bangu and palm soup where is mine say hi for the the camera this is my beloved auntie and Well, introduce yourself. What's your name? My name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Srebo. Yes. Okay, this is the Queen Mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She okay. used to change my diapers. Yes. <laughs> I changed it. I beat you. I put you on my back. It's my cousin. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hmm? Mouse stretch on you. Hello. Hello. You're my team. You. You. My beautiful cousin. <laughs> and with the big bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> the boy is where you at. <laughs> you guys still have um st the... Was it mango tree or something? Yeah, it's still there. It's still there? It's a mango tree. I don't like mangoes though. I don't like mangoes. Why? It's too strong. Yeah, I'm got KFC. I'm gonna try the KFC as well. I heard it's really, really good. It's nice and spicy, so we'll see. I actually like KFC better than Popeyes. It's very debatable. Because people like Popeyes more, but I like KFC. <laughs> so they sell shit on at KFC. You sell shit on at KFC? Yes, hey! <laughs> That's so cool! It's dark in here. So we're going to Almina Castle. Kakum National Park. Um, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I think today's what July 20th. So I'm going with Lula. Hey guys. Hey. How y'all? <laughs> <laughs> so the ride is I think they said two to three hours. Yeah, three hours. So we just started. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we don't run into traffic. Hopefully. <laughs> And we're just hoping that this day would be fun. And um, what are you looking most forward to with the Elmina Castle? I like learning about the history and like what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so am I because you know we learn so we learn things in school and stuff like we both grew up in the states so we learn things in school but it's different when you learn in the actual country where everything happened and you know so hopefully everything we hear is facts but I've heard great things about um, the tour and stuff I heard it's not so so long so that's, that's good. good so it's gonna be nice um, a lot of people say that at the tour you feel the presence of the people right it's like I've heard that too. weird and then you can still smell the smell so yeah it's very people say it's very emotional so we'll see how it goes yeah hopefully I don't cry <laughs> So we just arrived at Cocoon National Park. This is going to be interesting because I'm, I won't say I'm afraid of heights, but then I am afraid of heights. So yeah, but it's always worth to see. You see it on the internet all the time and social media. So yeah, I can't wait. My skin is glowing. Hair is a mess. Oh. most of the animals here are not Oh. So we have to climb 87 whole steps. Climbed 40 already, and we already <laughs> out of breath. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. And it's like hiking because it's like rocks. It's not even like a smooth pavement. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, good thing we're on the same page. <laughs> You would hate to have someone who's like, oh, this is easy. <laughs> Up there is the end of the steps. It honestly wasn't that long, but <laughs> when you're out of shape, it feels like forever. Lula, how you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm surviving. So oh we're almost there. Almost. 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 There. Made it to the top. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing. Very, very <laughs> embarrassing. So they have two pathways, the right? You have to go through six more canopies, canopies and the left two. Two more? Two more. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the third and last canopy I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, this is my first and last time at Kakun. <laughs> <laughs> we did the three canopies. We didn't do the six. <laughs> I cannot. No. Nah, the second one on the the three canopy one, bruh. Shaky. 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 <laughs> and you can see like the whole floor. All I kept imagining was me just like tumbling over <laughs> and falling <laughs> falling on the in the forest. Oh my god. Yo. Thank God we made it. If I would have felt them animals would have had a lot of good meat to oh. eat. <laughs> We survived, we survived, we survived. Now on to Elmina Castle.